Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crochet. And now that we're done with this dress, I'm gonna show you how to crochet these boots here for your doll. This will fit any 18 inch doll or an American Girl doll. So let me show you the materials that we will be using. We're using the Loops and Thread Swirl Ombre. It's the same yarn that we used for the dress. And it is a size four medium weight yarn. We're gonna use a crochet hook size G. And if you need a couple stitch markers, get those out. It's just so you know where your placements are, um, where your first stitch is and your last stitch, because it can get a little bit of it can get a little complicated because we're going to be working around here to form the sole. So you're going to be working on this side of the stitches and on this side of the stitches. That's why I say if you need stitch markers to get that out so you can see where your stitches are at. So to start with, we did a chain of seven. We're going to skip the first stitch, go into the second stitch, and we're going to create a single crochet. So in the second stitch, we're gonna do a single crochet. So that's your very first stitch right there. So I would put a stitch marker right there so you can see where that first stitch is at. Okay. Now, we're gonna work a total of five single crochets. So we need to do four more along the side here. So in, every, in the next four stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet so we did our first one because we need a total of five. So that's one. Go into the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's two, three, four, and five. Now in this last stitch right here, we're going to work a total of five single crochets all into the same stitch. One, two, three, <clears throat> four, and five. Okay, now we're gonna be crocheting along the other side right here. So in the next four stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now in this last stitch right here, we're gonna work two single crochets into the same stitch. So in this last one right here, we're gonna work two single crochets, one and two. Now on that last one, if you're a beginner, I would recommend to put a stitch marker on that last one, just so you know where that last stitch is at, because it can get lost when we're going around, okay? So that's your last stitch and your first stitch. So now we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch right here. So I'm taking my stitch marker out and we're gonna slip stitch to that first stitch right there. Okay, now after this round, round number one, you should have a total of 16 stitches going all the way around. Now we're gonna start round number two. So round number two, we're gonna do a chain one and in that same space that you did the slip stitch in the chain one, you're going to work one single crochet. And again, put your stitch marker on that first single crochet right there. Okay. Now in the next stitch, we're gonna work another single crochet. So we have two single crochets. Now in the next three stitches, we're gonna work a half double crochet. So to do that, you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. And that's your half double crochet. We're going to do two more, so we have a total of three. Okay. Now, here's where we did the five chain in that last stitch from the previous row. So in each chain, we're going to work two double crochets in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one double crochet. In that same stitch, we're going to work our second double crochet. And you're going to do that five times to each of those five chains. So that's the first one. So again, we're going to work two double crochets into the same stitch. That's our second one. Next stitch. Two double crochets into the same stitch. 
Next stitch, two double crochets into the same stitch. And the last one, two double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, in the next three stitches, we're going to work half double crochets. We're kind of following the same thing we did on this end. So in the next three stitches, half double crochets. Okay. Now in the next two stitches, you're going to do a single crochet. One and two. Okay. So where you have the stitch marker, this is your last stitch. That's why it's important for you to put the stitch marker if you're a beginner so you don't get confused because this is your last stitch. And right here, it looks like there's a stitch, but it's not. That's the slip stitch from the previous row. And then you have your chain one and then you have your first um, single crochet there. So that's why it's important to put that stitch marker if you're a beginner so you know where that last stitch is at. So in that last stitch, you're going to work two double crochet or two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay. So in that last one, you can still put another, the stitch marker in that last one again. So you know where that stitch ends. So now you're going to slip stitch to that very first one. So we're going to take this out and we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch right there. Okay. And that closes it up. So this is the sole of the shoe. So after the second row, you should have a total of 22 stitches. Now, working the next row, number three, we're going to be working um, the side here. So next, next row, we're going to be working in the back loops only. Now, if you look, you got your stitch right here. You have the front loop and then the back loop, front loop back loop, front loop, back loop. So we're only going to be working in the back loops only. Okay. So we're going to do a chain of one and in the back loop, we're going to work a single crochet. So again, I would suggest putting your stitch marker so you know where your first single crochet is at. And then in the back loop, going all the way around, you're going to do a single crochet all the way around okay so i'm going to continue to do this and i will see you at the end of row number three single crochets back loop only so here i'm at the end and i have two stitches left so i have this one i'm going into the back loop doing the single crochet and then this one is my last stitch so i'm taking that out and I'm working my last single crochet there. Okay. So if you want, you can put that stitch marker back in. Okay. And now what you're going to do is slip stitch to that first single crochet. So I'm going to take this out here. <clears throat> and I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. Okay, so now we're done. And this is what the shoe is looking like. Kind of looks like a little boat here. And doing it in back loop only leaves that nice little ridge on the bottom of the shoe, on the side of the shoe, as you can see. Okay, so we're done with round three, and you should still have 22 stitches. Now we're going to start <clears throat> round number four and round number four is very easy. All you're going to do is do the chain one and in that first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And if you want, you can put your stitch marker back in if you're still not comfortable and you're going to do a single crochet all the way around again. And it's going to be easier because you're going to go into both loops for this row. So just a single crochet all the way around. And I will see you at the end of round four and you should still have 22 stitches. So here I am at the last two stitches. So I'm doing my single crochet and then this is the last one. So I'm going to take that out and do my last single crochet there. Okay. 
And again, if you want to use a stitch marker, put it back in that last stitch. And then we're going to go and slip stitch to the first single crochet over here on this end and do your slip stitch. So we're done with round number two. Okay, that's what it's looking like. Now we're going to, not round two. This was uh, round number four. I'm sorry. That was round number four. So we just finished round number four. We're going to start round number five. So to do that, we're going to do the chain one, and then that first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And again, if you want to put your stitch marker in, go right ahead. Okay. Now, we did one single crochet. We need a total of eight single crochets going all the way across. That one is counting as one. So we need seven more single crochet. That's two. So we have a total of eight. So we have three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, in the next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease or a um, single crochet, two single crochet together or a decrease. So what you're going to do is insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Don't finish it. We're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we have three. Yarn over and you're going to pull through all three. Okay. And that gives you a a decrease or a two single crochet together so we're going to do that three times so that's the first one so again we're going to go into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop and you have three on your hook yarn over and pull through all three that's two we're going to do it one more time insert the hook yarn over pull up the loop Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. We have three. Yarn over and pull through all three. So we have three of those. Now in the next eight stitches, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay. So now we're going to go into that next stitch and do a single crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet all the way to the end. And there should be a total of eight single crochet all the way to here. So I'm going to continue to do that. And I'll see you at the end there. So I'm here at the end and I need to work my last single crochet. And that was my eighth one there. And I'm going to put the stitch marker back in. And then you're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to slip stitch to that first one. Okay, so we're done with round number five and that's what it's looking like. Okay, now we're going to start round number six. Round number six, we're going to do chain one. And we're going to do a single crochet in the next seven stitches. We're going to start with that first one. And I'm going to put my stitch marker back in here. And we need seven single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we're going to do a decrease twice. So again, in the next two stitches, we're going to do the single crochet together or the decrease. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook again, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's one. We're going to do it one more time. And pull through all three okay now in the next eight stitches you're gonna do a single crochet all the way to the other end so I'm gonna continue to do this and I'll see you when you're done with your single crochets 
So I'm here at the end again. I'm going to take out this stitch so I can finish that last single crochet there. Okay, and if you want to put a stitch marker, again, go ahead and do that. I'm going to slip stitch to the first one, so I'm going to take that one out, and we're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet right there. Okay, so we're done with row number six, and that's what it's looking like. And after row number six, you should have a total of 17 stitches going around. So now row number eight, we're going to do a chain one and a single crochet. And I'm going to put my first, my stitch marker there again. And for this row, we are going to do a single crochet all the way around. Okay, so again, just a single crochet in every stitch around. So I will see you at the end of this row. So I have one more single crochet to finish. I took my stitch marker out. And again, if you want to put it in, go right ahead. Now at the end of this row, which is row number seven, you should still have 17 stitches. And you're going to slip stitch to join the row together. I can't grab anything today. My fingers are like butter fingers today. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Put your finger in there. It's kind of looking like a little boot so far or a booty. Okay, now we're going to start row number eight. So what you're going to do is a chain of one. And in that first stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. And it's going to be half double crochet all the way around. So to do the half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three of them. So we're going to do a half double crochet all the way around. So this is going to be the same for row number seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So you're just going to continue what we've been doing, half double crochet, close the round with a slip stitch, start the next row of half double crochet, close it with a slip stitch, start the next row with half double crochet, and close it with a slip stitch. And I will meet you here at the end of row number, um, this is number 8, 9, at the end of row number 10. So we're just doing half double crochets for the next three rows. So I've completed row number 10. I have three rows of half double crochets and that's my first stitch. I already did my slip stitch to the last one here. So we're done with row number 10. Now we're going to start row number 11. So to do that, we're going to do a chain one and in that first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Now, if you need to put the stitch marker in again, go right ahead and do that. And then we did one single crochet. We're going to do go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. So we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay, so that's what we're going to repeat. We're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch, another single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochets into the same stitch. So it's single crochet, single crochet, then double, two single crochets into the same stitch. Single crochet, single crochet, then two single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, we're just going to repeat that. Single crochet, single crochet, then two in the same stitch. One, two, and then we have our last two right here. I'm just gonna take this out right now. And single crochet. And single crochet. Okay, and then you're going to slip stitch to the end. 
right here to the other first one on the other end and the increase just gives it a little bit more so it's a little open on the top there okay so you're pretty much done with the boot now I'm gonna do a reverse single crochet so it's gonna be the same stitch that we did right here on the dress it's gonna be a reverse single crochet you don't have to you can do another row of single crochets if you want to it's totally up to you you can leave it like this if this is how you like it it's all up to you but I'm gonna do the reverse single crochet for row number 12 so to do that you're gonna chain one in that first stitch you're gonna do a single crochet regular now to do the reverse single crochet you're gonna work this way normally we work this way here we're gonna work in the reverse we're gonna go this way with our single crochets and it's gonna give it that nice little edging that we did on the dress here so it'll match your dress okay so now we did our first single crochet as normal now we're gonna go to the single crochet on this side and you're gonna have your loop on the hook you're just gonna yarn over reach to that next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have two on your hook you're gonna yarn over and do the single crochet. So it's kind of like doing it in the air. So you're gonna go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over and go through both loops. So this is what you're gonna do all the way across. Oops, I didn't grab that correctly. And then go into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat this all the way around. Okay, in every stitch. So as you can see, it's giving it that nice little edge right there. So I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you at the end. So here I'm at the other end. I finished my last one. This is the stitch where we did the single crochet right here. So I'm gonna go through the back and in that same single crochet that we started, I'm putting my crochet hook through the back without any loops on the hook. And I'm gonna take this loop right here with my finger and kind of put it there to pull through the back. Okay, so that kind of closes this all up. And then you're gonna do a chain one and tug on it and you're done. So as you see, it's got a nice little edge on the boot. Okay, let me cut the string off. So I have a doll here so I can try it on. And you can see how it looks on the doll. Move that over and I'm just bringing her feet over. Okay, this is an American Girl doll just bringing her feet over and you just want to put it on like this okay and what I like to do is kind of just tug it kind of push it on and tug and there we go that's how it looks that's how it's on the doll so it fits the doll perfectly good you see there's the little edging gives it a little more room so it goes over the cap here and it's done That's how it's looking on the doll. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please leave me your comments. I hope it was fairly easy to do. It is not a difficult pattern at all. And um, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button and have a great day. Thank you.